coin storage options. So I do get a few questions about how I store my coins and what options are available and where to go to get them. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a look through this catalog here, Lighthouse, the brand here. Good quality brand, quality products that uh, won't damage your coins or your banknotes or your stamps. So there's options for all of those different things in here. So uh, let's jump in and have a bit of a look through this catalog right here. You pick up some of these things through plenty of coin dealers, but Renix, um, a great um, supplier of all things coins and banknote storage and also stamps. So <laughs> let's jump in here. So let's have a bit of a scroll through this and have a bit of a look at what we've got. All right, actually did a little bit of a video on that little device there that helps hold and move coins around, which is pretty cool. All right, so you can get folders that um, zip up and keep them nice and tidy away. A grand ring binder, $65.95, Euro coins. Hey, here it is here. Oh, there's a magnifying glasses here actually, and using that little device here. This is pretty cool. Check this out here. This is a book safe. So it just looks like a book that you put on your shelf, and I'll bring it a little bit closer here. And um, you can lock, you can lock it once it's closed. Yeah, 55 bucks, and uh, it just sits on the shelf, and no one have any idea that you got some coins or something fine jewelry or something nice in there. But that's a cool little idea, isn't it? So I like that. That's pretty cool. All right, we'll keep on scrolling. Actually, um, had this one here, did a little video on this one here, the Flexi Magnifier. It's got a little light that you can turn on and you can just you can clip it on the side of your desk or have the little legs out for a stand. It's a pretty cool little device just to check um, nice and quickly. The magnification on things you want to look at. Here we go, this is a Euro coin collection um, folder. So Euro coins, looks like it's got slots for all the different, um, here we go, Euro pocket album for Euro coins in circulation. So um, yeah, you can collect all the different Euro coins there, which is a cool thing for those in Europe and anyone who's collecting Euro coins, a few different options here. There's another classic Euro ring binder, Optima. Euro sticker set. Yeah, they, they um, produce, Lighthouse produce um, coin and banknote things for collectors all over the world. So they've got options for people everywhere. And this is actually something that Australia have started to do. They've got these little cards with the coins in them and you can, a little storage device here, landscape, a logic archive box to um, yeah keep them all organized and keep them all together, which is pretty cool. There's some plain folders here where you can um, just put any coins in you would like. You could probably even write on a piece of paper in there and slot it in with uh, what the coins are. And it's important with some of these folders here that the plastic doesn't have any of that acid in it that can wear the coins down and damage the coin over time. So quality products, these ones here that don't have those, um, those substances in them that can be detrimental to your coins. Here you go for those in the UK, 10 pence album, 50 pence album, one pound album, two pound album. So keep them all together and you can collect the whole set. <laughs> and go from there. Banknotes, nice. Ooh, I like the banknotes at the moment and lots of different options. So you can get sheets that you clip into the folders and yeah, you can get lots of, because there's lots of different size banknotes. Um, so you can get different options as to what is going to be suitable for what you are collecting. Well, I've got some of those actually, these ones here. These route banknote pocket albums, ideal for traveling, yeah, to keep them all together, but they're nice and small in size, but keeps them nice and protected when you're moving around. I actually just transferred some of those out of those, some of the ones I've got for my main collection into a lighthouse folder that's got 300. Um, I wonder if it's that one there. I don't know if it's that one. I'll, I'll find it in a moment. So yeah, these, um, these binder systems, you can get lots of different sizes in the binder systems. Really large down to really small. And you can put any sorts of sheets in them. So you can put coin sheets in them or you can put banknote sheets in them. And it's, they're really flexible and that's what's really cool about these systems. And they're really good quality binders. I've got a few of these actually myself. Um, 
really strong and sturdy. And yeah, you just buy the plastic in inserts, the pockets that suit what you are collecting. And here's another example of all the different sorts of sheets, the different pockets um, here. And these ones suit, looks like those lighthouse ones with those little rounded um, nicks are there. You can sort of pull out, I'll show you just here. So these sorts of lighthouse holders that have got those rounded top bits obviously slot into there, they're cool. So if you are after a catalogue like this, a Lighthouse Corn Accessories catalogue, probably uh, reach out to Renix, um, R-E-N-N-I-K-S. Give them a call and um, they might be able to send you out this catalogue so you've got a bit of an idea on, you can have a scroll through and have a bit of a look and see what is available that you want to maybe pick up. Well, obviously you can look at this video again and again and again, but um, you, might, you might not be able to quite see the detail that you're looking for and specific things you're after. Yes, yeah, so some of these options here, those little um, coin capsules, um, I suppose somewhat like these ones here, where you can put the coins in there, get them protected, and you can get little sheets, plastic sheets, where you can clip those uh, capsules into the plastic sheets, and you can put them in the folders to get them all together, which is a good option. So there's end cap there, end cap sheets. Oh. <laughs> Cases and boxes, this like the idea of a briefcase. It looks pretty nice. Oh yeah, you see some people with the trays, nice display trays you can slot in and out. It's pretty cool. Coin boxes. And as I mentioned, yeah, I was talking about those end caps, lots of different sized um, capsules that you can put so you get different sheets that, for the different size capsules you've got. Look at that big setup comes in a big case where you can carry it around, close it all up and keep it locked away. Ooh, nice. Liking those boxes. Coin box chest. Sweet. Yeah, nice little briefcase. Drop your trays in there, keep them all together. So what are these for here? These must be for, I could put anything in here, I suppose, aren't they? Yeah, these ones here. So these ones, you can slot some banknotes in there, keep it all sort of so that they don't get damaged. So these are letters and postcards. It says here, intercept box for letters and postcards. So not just coins and stamps and banknotes, but um, here's that uh, book safe again where it just looks like a book on the shelf. Yeah, no one suspects anything, but yeah, you've got your nice, your goodies in there, keep it locked in there as well. So if someone did happen to open it and they're going, oh, wait a second, what's this? You've got another little layer of protection, but that's if they don't walk out with it. But uh, I think it's a cool, actually cool little secret hiding spot. When I was young, I when I'd have some big banknotes, I had a little spot where I'd, I would keep my um, bank notes hidden in my room. <laughs> so I had a couple of different hiding spots and there's things like that, I suppose, where you were um, quite creative, where people wouldn't suspect the thing, but um, unless they sort of know. <laughs> so, uh... oh, I've got one of these actually, these Vol Volterra coin round inserts. So these um, little cases here, I've got um, one of those, which is cool. Got it over here, I'll show you now. Actually, that might be slightly different. This one holds the um, the Quadrum coin holders. So that's got a little insert there that fits that in nicely. But looks really nice. Nice, soft, um, velvety bottom. So they're cool. Okay, so oh yeah, this is the one I've got there. Or one of this one here. But yeah, you can get um, some. You can hold a number of them in one tray. the little capsules, the round capsules, ultra perfect fit, round capsules, nice. 
ultra circular coin capsules. So these prices will be just a little bit higher than some of the ones, some of the cheaper ones on the market, but these ones, really good quality materials that they use and they won't damage your corn over time. Whereas some of those cheaper ones, yeah, concerns that they might have some of those materials in them that might damage your corn over time, which is not ideal. Oh, yeah, some of these magic capsules, they're good for coins. They're in different shapes, um, but also some of the ancient coins that um, are delicate and so on. So um, <laughs> I've got a, I've got a coronation coin in this one here, but I've got a few of those ones. Yep, for some of my coins too. Yeah, you can see here those $2 coins from, is it the Cook Islands? Those ones, those triangular type coins, I reckon they're cool. But yeah, normal capsules don't really fit those those sorts of coins. So those magic are good for that. So you've got one of these too, the uh, Logic Archive box. Got a little video coming out about one of those in a moment. So stay tuned for that on my channels. Quick slabs, yeah, so you, you can get, you can buy some quick slabs like this and you can put your own little um, information about the coins in those slabs to get them slabbed, which is cool. I reckon having slab coins is cool. I haven't gotten it yet myself, but um. I've actually got one on the way, so stay tuned, stay tuned. I picked up one, bought one, so it's going. Optical accessories. So yeah, if you need a bit of detail on the coins, magnifiers and such, a fair few different options. I've mentioned some of the ones that um, I've got myself. I've got something like this, but I don't know. I've got a number of years ago. I haven't used it too much, too much, because of other options that I've been using instead that are maybe slightly easier, give a little bit better magnification. I like the idea of this one here, but I actually went with this one here. So. The one I went with the ultra bright magnifying glass, just got a bit more magnification, 10 times magnification as opposed to the four. Uh, I've got the, a few different light settings on this one here. So I like having um, that option. So I'll show you what it is here. So it's this one right here, a bit of a concave type section in there. We can put it over a coin or banknote, a couple of different light settings you can click on, rechargeable battery in there as well. So I reckon that's really cool, nice, easy, one to just grab and put it over whatever it is you're looking at. Okay, this one looks like it's fairly similar again. Although this one's five times desk magnifier, this one's a 10 times. So I like the idea that you can get in a bit, a bit closer if you need that detail. Did a little video on this, the Flexi magnifier. It's a cool little one where you can uh, clip it onto a desk or you can have it standing up and yeah, a couple of different magnification levels in there. So two and a half or five times. And this one here, I did a little video on this one here too, the magnifier here um, that you can play. So it's got a light in it as well. Good for seeing detail on bank, bank notes and coins there. This is some of the digital magnifiers that you can pick up. And actually, I think I've got a DM3 that I need to do a video on actually. So DM3 LE LCD digital microscope. Yeah, so um, stay tuned for that. I'll check that one out there. I don't know if it's a DM3 or it's a DM5. It might be a DM5 actually that I've got. Yeah, so um, look similar, but this one might have slightly better features. So it is at 10 to 500 times. And this one's 20 to 200 times. So you can get in a lot closer. It looks like at that one there and a little bit more expensive again than this one over here. So depends how close you really need to get. Depends on what you're doing, I suppose. Oh yeah, some of these lights here, I haven't got any of these, these dark lights, those, uh, what do they call them? Black lights, I think some people refer to them as UV light, UV lamp. Illuminates certain features on the notes and so on. You can also get a torch, a UV pocket torch to check certain features on your banknotes and probably stamps as well. So um, yeah, maybe I'll 
swarks one of those at one stage, some stage. Ultrasonic cleaners. People sometimes use those for those coins. I haven't done that myself. You can get products to clean coins, although a lot of coin collectors don't steer clear of they steer clear of these sorts of things because it usually devalues coins. And if you're having coins graded, the graders will probably pick up and they'll have cleaned as part of the description on the grading so people know and like i was looking at an auction just last week and i was looking at some coins and yeah there was some graded coins and some of them were cleaned so it was written on the, the grading and i thought oh might not hold much value and it was a lower in value as it was anyway so there are options if you if you want to go down that track but um yeah i generally personally myself i don't but there are some options there some scales it's one thing I don't have actually little scales just to check weights on certain things catalog euro that's that book about all the euro coins I've got the 2022 version of that catalog but the 2023 is obviously available and that's the back of the catalog so lighthouse coin accessories catalog 2023 but um there's also information in there obviously as you've seen there about banknotes and stamps as well so lots of options for different people and plenty of things in there um for coin storage and banknote storage so um yeah watch this video again and go to the parts that you want to and maybe zoom in on the sections you you want to check out but also if you want to pick up a catalog for yourself probably give renix a call so R E W N i k s and just ask if you might be able to have a lighthouse coin accessories catalog sent out because you are really interested in in purchasing some products and i'm sure they'll be able to send one out to you so um awesome thanks for watching and like and subscribe comment any comments you want to ask any questions but um yeah thanks for watching